Hello and welcome to my island outpost build. Here we're just starting off with putting down some of the uh, foundations or rather columns at this point. Everyone has a different way to do this. I tend to space mine every other one. Of course I have to build something in between to get all the spacing correct. To, uh, continue this way along the uh, outline of the building I'm intending to uh, set up here. I got lucky in this particular instance, I did get several stones put together. You might only have two, you might have a little bit of shore. Just try and follow the terrain as best you can to figure out your size. Here's a quick look of uh, some of the area I have outlined with my columns. I'm now going to begin the process of building supports for the uh, structure itself. Everyone has their own way of doing this. I've done it every other block, just as I did with the outline. I'm trying something a little bit different this time. Here's a quick look of all of my various supports put together. I ended up just with the 2x2 uh, two two with the uh, stone supports around them and I left that bottom right area open. I intend to use that as stairs down to a dock. Once that's all said and done, you start putting your floors in so you have something to actually walk on as you do your build. Here's our completed floor, and now we're gonna start beginning to do some of the stairs down to the dock itself, and then move onwards to our actual walls.
here we're just starting the build for the walls as well as the windows. The idea will be to carbon copy this along three of the sides, leaving the uh, gate front itself different for obvious reasons. With the wall all set up and done, we're now going to move on to the gate itself. I did want to do something a little different here. Instead of a, a single gate, I ended up having one that goes straight out towards the dock, as well as one that goes uh, straight out onto the deck front. With the gate front all said and done, it's now time to start with our roof for the first level of our outpost. Here's a quick look of what it's going to look like once the roof is put on, and I do intend to do an additional floor. But before we go that far, we need to put in some support so everything stays together and doesn't fall apart. Now that we've got all supports in place, we can start placing down our uh, second floor. The idea with this one is I'm going to fill in the vast majority of it, however I am going to leave a large opening in the center for my fire pits that will go down on the main floor. And I also need to add in some stairs so we can get to that floor.
With the stairs done, it's now time for a second set of supports for the second floor opening. This will also be used to help create the chimney for our fire pits. With that completed, now let's start to begin to put the uh, structures in place for our second floor walls. Instead of doing just plain solid walls, I wanted to go with a little bit of a design this time, a little bit more of an open concept. With all the walls done, it's now time to start putting in that uh, additional roof, start to cover everything up. Since this building is relatively large and relatively tall, I'm not too worried about having an opening for the chimney itself. It'll just go straight into the roof. With the main building itself done, I'm now moving on to the docks. Uh, the water is relatively deep here, so I ended up going with some stone columns to begin to build everything out. This will end up being large enough to hold a, a carve without any issues.
With all the various supports and roof put on, now we're just putting in some uh, rails to make sure no one falls off the dock and putting in some finishing touches. And last but not least, once the dock is done, I'm now putting up my chimney, putting in my fire pits, and making sure everything is able to be ventilated without any suffocation issues. And now for the final reveal, here we've got the outside of the building, dock, along with the actual building itself and deck, as well as a quick peek inside. If you enjoyed this build guide, please consider subscribing, giving it a like, or leaving me a comment, and let me know what you want me to build next. Thanks so much for watching.